George, Balto, and Stephanie, a very short story by Joseph D. Steck. Little Stephanie Kwiatkowska was the only student at Holy Family Elementary not looking forward to the class field trip to the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. You see, Stephanie was the only kid at school who didn't seem to care anything for dinosaurs. What was the point, she pondered. Well, at least we don't have to wear our stinking uniforms for one day. A yellow school bus took her to school school that morning. Two more buses were waiting at the school to take them to Cleveland's University Circle. The science teacher had given them papers to fill out in order to ensure that the museum visit was bone dry and joyless. This ought to be fun. Most of the kids are ebullient to explore the museum and the dinosaurs. Oh, why do all these idiots love these fake dinosaurs so much? The interwebs say that most of them are just phony plaster models made in China. As the other kids were ogling the phony dinosaur bones, Stephanie snuck off and had a walk about the rest of the museum. Then she saw it. It was the most beautiful and bravest dog the world had ever known. Balto, Siberian Husky, 1919 to 1933. Wow. The same two yellow school buses brought an exuberant Stephanie and her classmates back to Holy Family School. Another bus took her home. Stephanie did her homework and read more about Balto on the interwebs. Stephanie, honey, set the table, please. It's time for dinner. Okay, Mom. So, how do you like the dinosaurs, dear? Mr. Kwiatkowski asked his daughter. I thought they were kind of lousy, to be perfectly honest. Lousy? How so? I read on the interwebs that all them bones are made in China, and not the real thing. But I did see something real special-like. What's that, dear? Balto! Balto? Yes, Balto. Balto was a real hero-like in Alaska. Then Balto was working like a freak in Los Angeles, and people and dog... as as people and dogs, it seems, are want to. Of course, that was no good for any dog, let alone a hero like Balto. Luckily, a former boxer turned Cleveland businessman, George Kimball, found him and brought him back to the Forest City after people in Cleveland raised money to bring him back. Is that right? It is. So Balto lived in the zoo, and now he's stuffed and in the museum and much better than any crummy dinosaur. Seems you learned a lot, dear. Yes, and Daddy, do you think... Can we get a dog? <laughs> My love, remember wanting archery lessons and wanting a rabbit and begging for a guitar lesson. But, Papa, that's not fair. This time I mean it. I'll just die if I don't get a... Just do your schoolwork, dear, and live the good life you promised when you wanted those other things. Sure, Papa. Stephanie returned to her bedroom and settled into gentle repose. She returned to school with all of the dinosaur lovers. She paid attention and did her homework. She cleaned her room and watched many interweb videos of dogs and read more on Balto. She raked the leaves, she lit the advent candles, and shoveled the driveway. The school bus dropped her off for the last time that year. Christmas vacation had begun. Merry Christmas, Stephanie. Merry Christmas, Mama. Merry Christmas, Daddy. Well, you've certainly landed on the nice list this year, dear. We hope you've got everything your heart wished for. Sure, Papa. Stephanie fiddled with a new mobile device and posted some photos onto the interwebs. The door in the backyard opened just then. Stephanie's Grandpa Stanley came in with a brilliant Siberian Husky pup. It's a little Balto! Stephanie hugged Grandpa Stanley, her mother, and her father. She put her boots and winter hat and coat over her pajamas and took little George out to run in the snow and the metro parks. She drove George from Anchorage to Nenana. Wow! Stephanie always remembered the time for George and wanting her own Balto, and she loved George forever and ever. The end.